Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives To Go. Uh, welcome to another quick look product review. This is the Kohetsu Aogami R Blue Number no. 2 Shinano Bunka 170mm knife. So this line of knives has a three layer construction with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, stainless cladding for ease of maintenance. So the core steel, this hard center steel you can see peeking out from the cladding right here is Aogami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel. Great combination of uh, edge retention and sharpening uh, ease of sharpening, so very nice kitchen steel. It'll pretty much get as sharp as your skill set will allow. Heat treats about 62 Rockwell on that Algami number two. Construction has a soft stainless cladding on either side of that blue or Algami number two. So for ease of maintenance, this cladding has a nice, easy to care for finish on it. We'll take a closer look at that. Weight and dimensions on these can vary just a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 123 grams or 4.3 ounces, so it's nice and light. The edge length is about 168 millimeters or 6.6 .6 inches on this sample. Overall length about 308 millimeters. And the spine thickness, these have a little thickness coming out of the handle. It's a style of blade, but then they thin out pretty nicely. So I got about 3.2 millimeters thick above the heel. It's even thicker going into the handle, but thins out nicely quickly. So, this is about 1.8 millimeters halfway down on the spine, and then this has that reverse sword tip corner there. So, it stays that same thickness through that until you get to the grind, about right in here. And then they thin out pretty nicely towards the tip. Not a wafer thin tip, but nice, pretty thin, I'd say. Good, good, good combination of performance versus a little bit of meat there. Same with the edge, not like super razor thin, but Nice combination of performance and a little bit of meat there. Come on, camera. A little bit of meat there for uh, performance. So fairly stiff blade, so just kind of a nice combination of characteristics for a balanced uh, performance. Let's, uh, oh, we're not quite ready for that yet. Sorry, jump the gun here. Height is about 43.7 millimeters at the back. The neck is pretty thin. Here's the choil, the back of the blade, and the neck. Good spot there for your finger for a pinch grip, so plenty, plenty of clearance on the cutting board, even though it's not super tall. Handles are octagonal ambidextrous walnut with a black pack of wood ferrule, and they've got pretty good uh, fit and finish and glue up seal job here where the tang goes into the handle. Handles are fairly light, which is good. That brings a balance point to a reasonable spot on this smaller blade. So the balance point's right in front of that choil. It's definitely going to be a little handle heavy with the pinch grip. Racket grip, a little more neutral. Pinch grip, a little handle heavy, but it's a small blade. Fit and finish is nicely done on these. They've relieved the top of the spine a little bit, the choil a little bit. <clears throat> Here is our beauty shot for the video. So you can see we've got a brushed finish on this that goes with the knife blade on both sides. The nice thing about that is as you clean the knife and dry it, you tend to go this way, and so any scratches you get will go with the with the grain, if you will, on the finish, and it helps hide that a little bit. You've got kind of a sandblasted gunmetal gray finish here on the grind going down towards the edge, um, and then here's the edge steel peeking out. Here is it's a little hard to tell. I mentioned it on the other video. It almost looks like it could be hand engraved, but yet it, this is awfully small. So I think it's some kind of embossed symbol and kanji, but it's got a nice look to it, very crisp. You can kind of feel it when you run your fingers over it. It could possibly be hand engraved or just kind of a really nice uh, embossed job on there, however they're doing that. And then here's the left side of the blade. There's no markings on it, but you can see that same finish. Uh, let's see, now I'm ready for the cutting board. This had a nice edge. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 on my scale out of the box. So very sharp, kind of a little bit of polish to the edge. Nicely crafted. So this thing's ready to rock and roll as soon as you take it out of the box. Here is our edge profile. These tend to be a fairly curvy on the profile, this style, this blade. Um, so not a lot of flat spots. See if I can try cutting myself. <laughs> not a lot of flat spot here. You've got a little bit in the back, but just not really much. So this is going to be, you can do a little chopping in this area here. Uh, definitely got some belly towards the tip, even though it's a Bunka style. So this will rock really nice. I can get way up there on the rock. This will rock great. Do a little bit of chopping there. It's not super flat, so it just kind of depends on your style. 
You could do tip draws, but you're going to have to raise that pretty high just because the belly is pretty aggressive towards the tip. So kind of fairly curvy. If you got that, if you like that style, this is right up your alley. If you want to chop all the way and want a flat profile, it's not up your alley. So either way, this is a very nicely crafted package. It's got old school algami number two for ease of sharpening, and it's got uh, stainless cladding for ease of maintenance, and just nicely crafted blade. So this is the Kuhetsu Algami or Blue number two Shinano Bunka 170 millimeter knife from Chef Knives to Go.